Hi everyone, Leslie and Hunter from Discovery Fabrics and today we're going to talk about some super durable fabrics we have that are intended for luggage making, bag making, but can also be incorporated into some of your clothing. So um, we have here three different fabrics. We have Cordura, we have Ballistic Nylon, and we have Keprotec. So Hunter, tell me a little bit about um, Cordura. So Cordura is 100% nylon. It's extremely abrasion resistant and it's estimated to be about a 10 times stronger than your regular cotton canvas. Okay, so it's very, very durable. Yes. Okay, and so what would be the, uh, the earliest that, you, that this type of technology was used? Uh, World War II, they actually used it to make tires in the trucks. And before Cordura wasn't invented until after, or nylon wasn't invented until after World War II. So but what were the tires made of then? Rayon. Rayon. Okay, so Cordura was originally a rayon fabric. Yes. Okay. And uh, obviously after nylon was invented, they they started using that in tires. Yes. And then what became of Cordura? How, how was it? So they eventually turned to using it for heavy-duty luggage and bag making because of it was no longer as tough, I guess, but it is still a very, very strong fabric. Okay, so today we're using it mostly industrially in luggage making. Yes. So talk about the different weights. I know that we've got uh, a couple of weights here. Which, which weights are these and why would you use these weights? So this green one here is a thousand denier or a thousand D. And then this kind of burgundy beet colored is a 500 denier. Denier. So, right? Okay, and what actually is the denier mean? Denier is the weight of the yarn that they use to weave the fabric. Does it have anything to do with the strength of the fabric? No. So the denier has nothing to do with the strength of the fabric. It's the heaviness of the yarn. That the really... heaviness of the yarn that they use. Okay, that makes sense. So let's move on to ballistic nylon. Now, I can see that the ballistic nylon looks different than the um, Cordura. They're both nylon, obviously. Um, this seems to have more of a basket weave and um, kind of shinier than that. Yes. So, so, so where was ballistic nylon originally used? Ballistic nylon was a, originally used in World War II for making... Um, vests for pilots for protection against shrapnel okay and also i heard in the vietnam war that was used yes. for a while too and then it was replaced well it never was bulletproof wasn't it it's called no. ballistic nylon but but it never was bulletproof unless put in large quantities i guess you get it thick enough but um when was it's not being used for that right now what was no. it replaced with in the vietnam uh, war it was replaced with kevlar okay kevlar which leads us to our next fabric so keprotec Keprotec is made by Scholler, correct? Yes. Okay, so tell me a little bit about Keprotec. What is Keprotec made of? Uh, it's a poly... Polyamide. Polyamide. Yeah. Tricky word. Which is nylon, uh, right? Nylon. It's okay. essentially nylon, and it's also mixed with Kevlar. Kevlar. And Kevlar is... Highly cut yeah. resistant. Okay, that's right. Because I recall having... Um, my husband had Fowler's a pair. Fowler's pants. Fowler's pants, right. And that kept... Not this thickness, of course, but in a, a much thicker. Yes. That kept the, the chainsaw from going through. So what is, this is from Scholler. This is called Keprotec. Mm -hmm. What is it intended to be used for? Uh, it is intended for mostly motorcycle pants because it's highly abrasion resistant, even more so than ballistic nylon and Cordura. Or Cordura, okay. The reason why is because the fibers used have more texture and it has less resistance when rubbing on something than both of these. Oh, okay. Well, that's very cool. So you could use this in making clothing. It's actually yes. got, it's, you know, it's not terribly stiff. It's got kind of a soft hand. You wouldn't think it's as strong as it is. Um, so you could use this, obviously, to make a jacket yeah. if you wanted to, if you were like road racing or, you know, or just real clumsy. <laughs> And you're, you know, you would just want to keep yourself safe and not get road rash. And uh, out of the two of these, we'll go back to the Cordura, which ones would be most suitable for bag making and which most suitable for clothing? 
So you definitely want the 1000D for a bag making. Like, well, for a backpack type thing. A backpack or any luggage material because it's quite a bit stronger and thicker. Okay. Whereas you get to the 500 and it would be good for lining the knees of hiking pants. Or making or, maybe a day pack where you Or a day have, pack yeah. where okay. it isn't as resistant to or has as much abuse. Okay, so that's great. So we know a little bit more about Cordura. Uh, ballistic nylon and Kepratech, and we hope that you enjoyed our little video. Thank you so much, Hunter. Welcome. Okay, see you later. Bye.